hey guys good morning and welcome back to my channel how are you guys doing so the time is after 8 p.m. and um, I just had my bath okay that's my night bath okay and um, well welcome to my channel I uh, it's been a while I've picked up like it's been a few days I have been recording but I have not edited some of the videos um, my kids have been kind of under the weather not kind of they've been sick and um, uh, I thank God that um, is they are feeling better uh, every other every other person is feeling better very very okay but Daniela has been her own is kind of um, not there where the others are Th this morning they had them um, at school they had them um, cultural day in school it was a struggle for her to even go but I thank God at the end of the day because she had things to um, partake in like dancing and all those cultural stuff she was participating it was like she was not going to go but I thank God that she eventually made it even though she did not dance she did other things okay so I'm grateful to God that she's better she was throwing up cold you know the weather the weather honestly you see in Port Harcourt, if we have if the day is sunny like um, eight hours hmm? <laughs> best believe that we're going to it's going to rain for the next two days the rain today hey the rain today the weather is colding <laughs> the weather is not cold it is colding nothing will make me not to sleep with a blanket you know I would have said okay normally I would say oh I just need like that on my standing fan Duh. so yeah light has come uh, I would have said just lie down cover up and all of that but um, today I'm going to sleep with a duvet a blanket the weather is super super cold and um, like I was saying, they are better. I thank God everything is better now. We are not in that panic mode because it's, you know, cold is not something you, like my kids drank AC. I feel like <laughs> they drank it. I was, I was talking to Lily and I was telling her that my kids drank AC and she was like, which one is drank AC? Well, yeah, they drank AC. I'm in my room right now. Uh, yeah, any light? Okay, yeah. yeah so I just had my bath well tomorrow I am cooking I am um, catering for footballers okay so tomorrow I'm cooking for footballers just party jollof that's what they are asking for and chicken so um, I'm going to be cooking tomorrow tomorrow morning hopefully I carry you guys along uh, yeah so like I said the weather is very cold I just had my bath and I'm about wearing my clothes so hold on let me wear my clothes yeah so there, i am all dressed um in my so night dress i'm going to quickly show you guys the things i'm going to be using to cook okay like the tomatoes the stuff and the spices in the kitchen so that tomorrow we can start cooking welcome to my channel if you're new here please consider subscribing all right like this video share this video and i'll see you guys later and i know that you guys have been waiting for video the autism video you guys in that video I'm going to you're going to hear all the struggles like most of the struggles I have struggled I have struggled not to have uploaded that video it looks like the devil doesn't want me to make that video at the end of the day <sighs> but yeah I'm going to quickly show you guys the things I have to make the I'll be cooking with this night because in the morning I might not um, have time to show you guys everything one after another and then um, yeah so that you guys can be carried along i will show you guys everything i have got then in the morning we'll just proceed in cooking because i have to deliver the food at about 9 10 a.m i have to start early okay yeah so welcome guys mm -hmm. stay tuned i'll see you guys later destiny come and carry this camera okay guys we have our tomatoes here 
can be seen. My customer said there is no tomato. These are my tomatoes. This is just a a rubber, and this is um pepper. I'm going to, and she did not block it for me as usual. So all this will be done in the morning. This is pepper. This is shombo. She said there was no shombo in the market. This is scotch bonnet, by the way. And this is habanero pepper. Okay. And here is um, tatashi. My husband calls it totoshi. This is tatashi. Tatashi or tatashi. Okay, this is, they are all in rubbers. And this is onion. This is a rubber of onion. Okay. So these are the things I want to show you guys. Let me also show you the spices. Yeah. Okay. These are the spices. Let me get scissors. So these are the spices. I'm using curry masala. Dry thyme. Rosemary. I also got some um, margarine sachet. Sachet. Uh, Ama wonder, garlic and ginger powder. And then some seasoning powder. This is beef. And this is the chicken. And then uh, woo, we have tomato paste. Okay. This is the size we'll be using. But I'm not going to be using all of them. So these are basically everything here. Tomorrow we'll get the chicken and um, the rice and yeah. We will be ready to go. Guys, cook. these are the things. I'll just put them away now and then tomorrow morning we will start cooking. So thank you guys. I will see you guys in the morning. Good night. Sleep tight and then let the bed box bite. Jesus. Hi mommy. So guys we started cooking okay but we ran a little bit late reason being that we were waiting for them to deliver the chicken the chicken was actually delivered later than than it should have been because i was waiting for the chicken so yeah but we started this is me um seasoning the chicken and now let me just tell you guys when it comes to cooking for public you want to ensure that your food is well seasoned okay somebody like me i always use basic ingredients in all my cooking i am not into ah this spice ah there is this spice this jealous no 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 i use the basic ingredient this is how i was raised like i always say i tell you people that i am not um, a spice person like i don't use too many spice i just use the necessary ones so yeah so you want to season it really well reason another reason you want your food to be very tasty and then you want your broth or your meat stock to be very rich because this is one of the basic okay to giving that your jollof rice the best okay to making it the best and ensuring that your clients keep coming back to you okay so now my chicken was ready i am i just added the oil to my big frying pan or the wok or like we call it in Igbo language the abada to get hot so that I can start frying the chicken and did I tell you guys was I just telling you guys that the weather was cold in ah today that I'm making this video the weather was so hot like I didn't see this coming because for the past couple of days it has been raining non-stop okay and the weather has been so cold if you watch my leg you can see that i'm even still wearing socks so but today my goodness the weather was burning 
<laughs> or gum series will say is sun kiss. This one is nothing like sun kiss. So this one is sunburn. Okay, it was just real on my skin. I could barely just step out, stand out, um, in the sun to cook. And because of how hot the weather was, uh, how cold the weather was, rather, I did not include canopy in my list of things I needed to get. But yeah, we move. So I am now frying my jollof base making the sauce for my jollof rice remember the onion here might not look like a lot but i have a lot of the onion inside my tomato blend mix okay that is where you want most of the onion to go anyway i'm now frying my my jollof base and another thing i would like to say when making your jollof rice for people you don't want to mix ingredients you don't want to mine ingredients you don't want to be economical because this is your business it is how when it comes to food business it is how tasty your food is that will bring back your clients that will make them come back to you again and again and again so if your standard is you know that you don't mind ingredients you have to tell them that this price you're pricing me for me I don't mind the ingredients so if you want to get the best then we do this so but most times if my clients are like all about there's no money there's no money I give them the option of getting the ingredients yourself so whatever you get I make it for you okay so it will not be like it's my fault or whatever so yeah like they say better food na money kill them right yes so I'm not making my gel of base now when seasoning for jollof rice like i've just made a video of how to get your jollof base all the time i love to have this jollof base in my freezer all the time so my daughter can whip up, whip up jollof rice i can just whip up jollof rice in those days that i'm so tired so it's always a good idea assume your prep this is one of those um sauces you need to meal prep and just store in your freezer so yeah you want to season it until it is a little bit above salt salty level okay a little bit salty when you taste it yes that is going to go so well with your meat stock or your meat broth now i'm transferring my stock my sauce into the smaller pot because that is the one i'm going to be cooking with and i'm making basically a quarter bag okay it's a quarter bag i'm cooking today and uh, i'm using the smaller pot so you mix it and then check if you need it if you need to add more sauce yes to it because one thing with patty jollof is that the color has to be right the flavors has to be right the taste also has to be right because when people eat your food when another person maybe that eats your food in that occasion will be like oh please who made this food or who made the food for you when you had that occasion they will always recommend them to you like most of my most of the um, food I cook these days is based on recommendations. So somebody comes and eats your food and maybe from somebody else and they end up giving that person your number and all of that and all of that. And that is how the chain goes. As you can see, I've added my meat broth. I did not use water for this rice, okay? All the meat stock I got, I poured into this jello fries and like i always say it is not water that cooks your rice so i see people pour water pour water no you need to know the mathematics for cooking your rice water is not what cooks your rice once you add that first base water your rice can be cooked without you adding if you needed to add water add water now okay don't say oh it's not cooked. let me add more water you will end up with a very soggy rice that is what you end up doing but what you need to do is to add the water or the liquid you're cooking at this point then if the water is drying out okay or just cover with um um paper or you know um waterproof nylon rice bag if you're making this quantity a very big nylon bag that is what i use 
cover it it will trap all the steam that would have been escaping and uh, trust me it will cook your rice okay so when some people are afraid of cooking um large quantity of rice like this because of this thing this type of situations that some parts you know are cooked and some parts are not cooked and that can also happen when your fire when your heat is not even when some when a particular part of the pot has more heat than the other part of the pot okay so that is what happens but when your when your heat is even and your your mathematics is right if you know what you're doing yeah of course your food will always come out so 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 good okay so as you can see my rice is popping color check flavor check texture check everything is checked in this pot of rice and the people that had it oh my goodness you know gave testimonies and from what i just gathered the information i gathered this week that i'm going to be cooking again for them because that was how far they enjoyed it and this is my first time cooking for them these people have been on for more than two years and um, then they've been, they've been eating food every every time they have their they play their ball they are playing so you can imagine but now i have the opportunity to make for them and now they are requesting that i make another jello fries that is to tell you that it was so good i added my margarine it just took this particular rice from a hundred to one thousand i'm telling you so when you are dealing with your clients try as much as possible to give them the best and be sincere with how f with them from the beginning so you don't come at every given time and begin to change your mouth or change your words okay just tell them this is how it is going to go if you want me to make food for you or cook for you and that is it and when they do please deliver quality okay please don't mind ingredients deliver quality so that you can stay in business so this is me i love what i do and i'm proud like i'm so happy whenever i have to cook honestly it is one of the things that makes me happy but you remember that the joy of the lord is always my strength okay yeah so i'm now scooping everything into the cooler and i was done cooking ha <sighs> who is tired of talking i am but yeah we are good to go i'm so happy that everything turned out so good i hope you guys have enjoyed this video if you did please like share and subscribe and of course to my helper my security guy this is his food um this other one is somebody that wants to taste it thanks for watching see you guys in my next one bye